The Dick Connor Correctional Facility, a medium security prison in northeastern Oklahoma, is the flagship of Oklahoma Correctional Industries, which operates under the Corrections Department but doesn't rely on state appropriations. We require that all of our inmates that go out to OCI show us at least um, at, at least three months of history working somewhere else on the yard. So they do get in the habit of reporting for work when they're, when they're supposed to, showing up and at least putting forth some positive effort. We also screen the offenders that apply to go out there. We look at their, what we would call a misconduct history, how well they have behaved while they're incarcerated. Uh, have they been aggressive or assaultive or been involved in the introduction of contraband? About 300 of the inmates here are doing life or life without. And so I have a lot of long-term offenders that really want to be positively occupied, to be busy with their day, to feel like they are still making a contribution to something. The more men I can keep positively occupied throughout the day, uh, the easier it is for me to control and have a secure facility where we can not only keep people busy, uh, but more than that, those inmates that are working hard, that are trying to do the right thing to learn skills, to get themselves ready to return to the community, they can be a positive mentor for some of the, the younger offenders that we have here. I would much rather have a 22-year-old, 25-year-old who is serving 50 years doing a job that is occupying him, keeping him busy, making him feel some self-worth and value instead of leaving that inmate on his own to come up with other uh, things to keep himself occupied throughout the day. So they, they see the value in that. And for those men that are never going to leave uh, the custody of the Department of Corrections, they can still see where they can have a positive impact daily in doing something that, that benefits other people. OCI has 22 operations in 10 locations across Oklahoma and generates revenues up to $20 million annually. We're completely not appropriated. So the first thing is we have to be profitable to, to pay our employees, our inmates, and to grow, uh, grow the program. Uh, so one of the things is, is, is we have to really develop our partnership with security, is, is work well with security, and security is first. So we have to be a very efficient and profitable manufacturing company around security. About 1,300 inmates work for OCI each business day. They manufacture more than 8,000 products, mainly from raw material. Under state law, the items they make, such as desks, benches, school lockers, and other products Oklahomans use every day, can be sold only to specific tax-supported state and federal agencies and others that qualify. The one thing I can say that OCI really does is it offers an alternative. What we try to do is we focus on the work. By focusing on the work, we can step away and for a little while you feel normal. You feel like a person, you're being productive. If you've been incarcerated for 20 years, it's going to be very difficult to get out and be, um, to be able to, to move back into society. Having this type of skill really gives these guys a leg up. Most of them are employed before, they, or have employment opportunities before they walk out the door. They are so skilled in what they do and so valuable uh, to the workforce in Oklahoma.